quite often we get requests to carry more advanced things like FPGAs. If you've been wanting to play with a low-cost, easily breadboardable FPGA, today's your lucky day. This is the Tiny FPGA. FPGA stands for Field Programmable Gate Array, and it is an integrated circuit that lets you reconfigure digital logic gates on the fly using a hardware descriptor language like Verilog or VHDL. Tiny FPGA has taken some FPGAs and put them on boards that make prototyping easy. The two versions that we have are the AX2 and the BX. The first board, the Tiny FPGA AX2, is based on the Lattice Semiconductor X02-1200. This has 1,280 lookup tables, or LUTs for short, 10 kilobits of distributed RAM, 64 kilobits of block RAM, and 64 kilobits of user flash memory. You'll also find one dedicated phase-locked loop in the chip. The board breaks out 22 I.O. pins in a form factor that's easy to put on a breadboard or integrate into your project. Note that the AX2 does not contain an onboard programmer. The JTAG pins are broken out, which means you'll need a separate programming board. Luckily, Tiny FPGA has supplied one in the form of a USB to JTAG board. Next is the Tiny FPGA BX. This board uses the Lattice ICE 40 LP8K FPGA, which has 7,680 LUTs and 128 kilobits of block RAM. The BX has an onboard serial flash chip that gives 6,000 kilobits of flash memory. There is also one phase locked loop available, and the board has 24 I.O. pins on the sides for easy connection to a breadboard, and another 17 I.O. underneath the board on surface mount pads. Unlike the AX2, the BX comes with an onboard programmer, so you just need a USB micro to program it. There are two main options available when it comes to programming one of the tiny FPGAs. The first is Lattice's professional design suite. You'll want Lattice Diamond for the AX2 and Ice Cube 2 for the BX. If you prefer a more hackier solution, the open source APIO project runs on top of the Atom IDE and lets you develop for the BX board. The next question is inevitable. What do I do with an FPGA? Well, it's a great tool for learning digital logic, and it can be used for more advanced projects too. For example, here is a music generator made by Twitter user Parallelafan using the Tiny FPGA BX. Several people on CrowdSupply replicated the Apple One computer on the BX, and user Bruce Martle on the Tiny FPGA forums shows his working VGA driver. If you've been keeping up with open source news, you'll know that the RISC-V instruction set was released a few years ago. Because it's an open source architecture, people, universities, and companies have been designing FPGA and hardware implementations of processors based on RISC-V. Luke, the creator of the tiny FPGA, even has a RISC-V implementation that runs on the BX. You'll need to install the IceStorm toolchain and follow his instructions carefully, but this could be a great way to begin tinkering with an open source processor. FPGAs also see a lot of use in the digital signal processing world, since they are essentially customized hardware that can be reconfigured for specialized purposes, say, running filters at extremely high frequencies. The tiny FPGA is a great way to jump into the world of FPGAs and start learning Verilog or VHDL. Good luck and happy hacking. For example, here is a mi a mu music great like this. Phase locked. Hold on. If you've been nailed it. Okay.